Lord. That song talks about being a sanctuary for the Lord to occupy, for the Lord to use. And I am one. I hope you are one too. We want to continue with a series of teachings. I want us to look at the subject matter of personal development. We did talk about life being a place where problems and challenges occur all of the time. We saw that even God has problems. And you might want to listen to the teachings, the videos on life is all about problem solving. Right from Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1, especially from verse 2, we see God resolving problems on earth. By bringing a man on the surface of the earth in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God gave man dominion. He gave man and woman dominion, male and female. He gave them dominion. Why did we need dominion? It's so that we can maintain the works of God on this side of eternity. God needs us to have the power. He needs us to have the dominion so that we can keep all the works that he has done in good place so that the works that he has done can continue to be as he wants them to be, as he wants the world to be. And so also uh, uh, we see accounts of how man disappointed God by Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 and God was complaining about um, uh, the imaginations of the heart of man being wicked continually. So if you listen to that uh, study, that uh, teaching or uh, talk about uh, life is all about problem solving which is also available on the internet. If you look at that, you will have more detail. But we want to look at uh, the angle towards the end of that teaching. We talked about the fact, uh, the, what you can do. How do I solve problems? And the first thing we mentioned was to resolve your identity crisis. Many of the things that we go through is because we lack the knowledge of who we are or who God has made us to be or we are not even uh, assured, we, we, we are not in, uh, perhaps you are not born again. So if you are not born again, you really can't even know who you are. But many people, even though they are born again, the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. When you are ignorant, uh, like the book of Daniel says, it says that um, uh, those who know their God shall be strong and they will do exploits. But for those who do not know their God, obviously the opposite is true. They will be exploited and they will be weak. Those who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Are you doing exploits where you are? Even that statement is a statement of uh, encouraging you to do exploits, to be a solution provider. So the, one of the fundamental things we'll continue to talk about is to let you know that God put you on earth to be a problem solver. You are to do exploits for God. But unfortunately, our religiosity has taught us to think we don't have a part to play. Uh, whatever God wants to do, He can do. And we have brought back that um, saying that whatever will be, would be. But that is not a scriptural saying. The things that will be will require man who will work in unison, who will work with commitment, who will work in agreement with God. If you will choose to walk in agreement with God, if I choose to walk in agreement with God, solutions will come. Because God needs us physically here to get things done. And we need Him spiritually in us so that with His power, with His grace, with His anointing, with His enablement, we do beyond what our physical uh, power can undo what our physical enablement can cope with. So that is the whole essence of uh, Christianity in my understanding, that a man should be the container, a man should be the residence of the Holy Spirit. A man should continually be in union and in agreement with the Spirit of God to figure out how to overcome every daily challenge. Life is a place where challenges will come. One day you might be enjoying your marriage, the other day it may go, it may look like uh, your partner is a demon. Uh, one day you might be in good health, the other day you wake up with some sprains in your ankles, sprains in your body, pains here and there. So that is how life is. 
But what we are saying in essence is whatever comes in life, through God in you, with you, you can overcome. Perhaps we, we have not mentioned enough the fact that there's uh, you, there's God, and there's a devil. There's Satan is the one who came on the surface of the earth and is the one that was perverting and continues to try to pervert every good thing that God desires for you and I to have. John, 10, John chapter 10 verse 10, Jesus said uh, that the thief has come not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come and have brought life and uh, he said that you might have life more abundantly Jesus has brought life and he has brought it so that we can have it in abundance so in life there will be need to solve problems but if you do not understand who you are you do not know what you are you don't know where you should be in God then you can't solve too many problems and so that's why we're going to look at the uh, personal development some of the messages we will be talking to ourselves together about are messages that some uh, pulpits will not uh, be bold enough to talk to you about. Many of us uh, would not want to be told that we need to make changes. We need to adjust ourselves so that we can have the solutions that we're looking for in life. We said in that teaching about uh, life being all about problem solving, we said Number one, you should resolve your identity crisis. Number two, you should resolve the battle that you need to fight. For us to solve any problems in life, it's going to be a battle. And it's going to be a battle between you and God. I mean, be, uh, between you and, and whatever the problem is. But it's going to be a battle that you need to fight together with God. Resolve what the battle you need to fight. You need to fight. Uh, and also, number three, resolve the price you need to pay. Every battle, there is a price to pay to overcome in any battle. And number four, we need to resolve to start from where you are. It doesn't matter how bad things have gotten. In Genesis 1 verse 2, where, this, where the situation was, the Spirit of God moved over that. And from there, solutions came. Light came. Improvement came. Resources came. Even man was made. Hallelujah. So we need to resolve to pay the price and you need to resolve to start from where you are. Whatever, um, whatever situation you are in, you can take the first step from whatever point you find yourself. These things, uh, these teachings, like we've said, each of these points are uh, teachings that we should teach over and over, but uh, we cannot do all of that uh, with the, 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 the limitation of technology and time that we all have. And finally we said, uh, you should resolve to start from where you are and then resolve not to give up until you finish. Resolve not to give up until you finish. How do you resolve problems without first of all sorting out yourself? The biggest problem some of us have is not our spouse, is not our friends, is not even the society, it's not the tribe that you came from, it's not the color of your skin, 